all the other ownership for making this a great organization from the time I was here in 1982 till now. And just, just want to thank everybody for the opportunity to... Oh, Jesus, this is... I wish I had a bag in my hands. But anyway, I, I love you all so. I want to thank the fans for feeling worthy, feeling that I'm worthy of being, you know, a Hall of Famer, Cardinal Hall of Famer. And I also want to thank the ownership again for... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> High School, Dennis Abel, Bill Urkula, Little League, Rich Ramirez, uh, Lonnie Lewis, uh, Big Leagues, Whitey Herzog for all he's done for me, the opportunity he gave me to play in the Big Leagues, and uh, the free reign he gave me to play out there and be myself. Uh, appreciate that, Whitey. Thank you for it. I want to thank Bobby Porsche. I want to thank Bruce Suter. I want to thank... I want to thank... Jack Clark, I want to thank Ozzy Smith, I want to thank all the, the players that have contributed to my career on the field and off the field, you know, by the talks we have. Um, I want to thank Mr. Lou Brock. I would be sitting by my locker uh, with my head down and Lou would walk through the locker room and he would just stop by your locker for a minute he'd say, hey, it's always the darkest day before the light. And it took me a week to figure out what he was saying. <laughs> Not really. I knew what it meant. And <laughs> but Lou, I thank you for that. Then there's Mr. Bob Gibson. You know, as a rookie coming coming to the park, walking down the hallway, and there's Bob Gibson. You know, and you hear all the stories about, you know, gold glove boxer, uh, Harlem Gold Trotter, and you know, about 10 other professions. <laughs> and you know his competitive spirit. And I would look and I would want to say something, I just couldn't get it out. And it, just seemed, it just seemed like Bob was about 15 feet tall. That was my And then the best one was uh, Lou Brock. One day I was, I was they had my locker right by the coffee machine. And Lou, <laughs> Lou would walk by every day and I saw these veteran players, you know, getting coffee. And I'm like, how oh, that coffee smells good. So Lou came in one day and I said, oh, do you drink coffee? And I think he said, yeah, I, was, I, I know you, I was, I, that's what I heard. So as soon as he said it, I got up and I started drinking coffee. <laughs> I want to also thank the Cardinals organization, which we don't talk about that much. It's the inside goings on. We've got guys like Mr. C.J. Cherry, traveling secretary, who makes our job a lot easier. All we have to do is come to the park and play with these guys that work in the Cardinal organization. You got guys like Butch Jackman, you got guys like Buddy Mage, you got guys like Mr. Rip Rowan now as the clubhouse manager. And all we have to do, our responsibility is come to the park and get ready to play. Just want to make sure I thank all, all of those guys um, and the Cardinal organization. I want to also thank my wife, Vivian, for putting up with me for all those years and taking care of the family while I was doing my job. Thank everybody.